Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And today I'm gonna teach you how to manually program this can of metal thread mill. Boom! It's about to get All right, I am excited because this is a cool technique. Uh, we're gonna utilize a lot of different things going on, right? We're gonna use cutter comp, we're gonna go into G91, into incremental programming, and it's gonna be easy, all right? So before we start, I just wanna invite you, if you guys watch the video, you love what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You want us to teach you something else? Go ahead and put it in the comments, you might see it in the next vlog. All right, let's get started, okay? So. First thing I want to say is this is the exact 5 18 thread mill from Canon Metal. That's actually in the Inconel video when I actually teach you how to machine Inconel 625, all right? In that video, we use CAM to actually do the program. Like we're teaching CAM, but it's important also that you actually understand the structure of the code and how it works and therefore, if there's a mistake, you can catch it. And that's why we're putting out a lot of GNM code manual programming videos, all right? So check this out. So it's a 5 16 18. That means that the OD, or outer diameter of the thread, is actually 0.3125, 5 16 all right? And then the 18 on the end, 5 16 18, is how many threads per inch. So I need to bank that information, I need to document it, because without it, I can't actually create my program. All right, so you guys ready to do it? Let's make this happen. All right, so I already wrote a program to actually face the top of this material that's in my shunk vise. All right, so we face the top, we drop down with a chamfer to chamfer the hole for the thread, and then we drop down with a .257 drill, which is the ID for the thread. Right, so if you look up a 5 16 18 and you look at the drill size for it, it'll be a 0.257, all right? So the material is faced, it's drilled, it's chamfered, and it is ready to get thread milled. So let me show you exactly how we do that. All right, so we have tool one, tool two, tool three. Each one shows a location. It's X 2.5, Y negative one inch. That's because my stock is actually two inches by five inches. So we're putting the hole straight in the center and then we're putting the threads in, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is actually come down here. I don't like to waste a lot of time. So I'm just gonna grab the meat of this top right here. And I'm gonna hit F2, I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna hit enter, select it, right? Drop down here. We actually have some end of blocks and I just created space. You guys already know my style. I like it clean, all right? So I'm just gonna hit enter, boom. Now, if the drill was tool three, then the thread mill is gonna be tool four, all right? So I'm gonna hit memory, edit, get right back in. All right, so now I hit T4, just a little bit quicker than writing everything. Now I'm gonna hit H4, boom. I already got my location dialed, so on my speed, I'm gonna drop it down to 4,000. I don't wanna to wiggle in too much. I wanna put a little pressure on it, okay? So I'm just gonna hit 4,000, boom, 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 for this thread mill in aluminum. It can go a lot faster, but that'll be good for this demonstration, all right? So my T is four, my, my H is four, Z.1, we are ready to actually program it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually drop down a half an inch into the hole. So I'm gonna hit G1, Z negative 0.5, feed. I'll just go 50, boom, and a block, enter. There you go, all right? Now that I've dropped down, I need to actually move into the material, right? Because then I'm gonna helical up. So how do I get that number? I simply get that number by taking the OD of the thread, which is 0.3125, and then subtracting the diameter of the thread mill, which is 0.2325, which gives me a difference of 80 thousandths, right? And then we divide 80, which gives us 
40, so 0 0.040. That means center, when I drop into the hole, actually move over 40 thousandths. Then I'm gonna helical up, and then there'll be 40 thousandths this way, and as I go around in a diameter, there's 40 thousandths this way, which makes up the 80 thousandths difference. All right, so I'm gonna actually put it in there. One thing that you're gonna see me do is, I'm gonna actually come in, I'm gonna hit G1, G41, I'm entering cutter comp, right? Because with the thread, we wanna actually use cutter comp because we might have to adjust that thread by like tenths or a thousandths to make sure that the go, no go, the go drops in and the no go does not drop in, right? So we're just gonna have to like finesse this thread and once we get it, then we can just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, all right? So I'm gonna use a G41, which will allow me to actually push the hole out or subtract it in. Got it? All right, so G41. Now I'm gonna go into G91 because I'm, I'm at location, I drop down. I don't wanna add a bunch of numbers, so I just wanna start absolute positioning from the center of the hole. I'm just gonna move over G91, which is incremental. And if you guys don't understand incremental programming, then go back to the video that I just did. There was an advanced manual programming trick because I really spoke about the brilliance of a G91 and the importance of coming back with a G90 so you don't crash your machine. All right, so you guys can check that out. So back to programming. So I got a G91 X.04 and then I have to put a D value for my G41, and since it's tool four, I'm gonna put a D4. So all I have to do is come over here and hit D4, and then I'm gonna hit a feed rate, and I'll just go 20 inches a minute. End the block, boom. All right, now we moved in. So now we're gonna helical up one time, all right? So how do we figure out that number? We take one inch divided by 18 threads, which gives us 55 thousandths, and that's gonna be my Z move. So by the time I rotate 360 and I come back, I will be above where I started in Z by 55 thousandths, all right? So we're gonna rotate counterclockwise, which is a G3, G3. We gotta call it back to center. A lot of people ask me like, oh, I's and J's, it's pretty simple. I's look back in X and J's look down or up in Y, all right? So since I'm moving over in X, I wanna look back and find my center, all right? So that's gonna be an I value. So I hit I negative 0 0.040, because that's how much I moved over. I'm already in G91. So I'm simply gonna put Z.055. The feed rate's gonna remain the same. End the block, boom. All right, so now I've come out. Now I wanna back off and go back to center. So I'm simply gonna hit G1. Since we went to G3, now we gotta go back to G1. X negative 0 0.040. End the block, enter, boom. All right, now I'm gonna hit my G90 to get out of G91 incremental. So now I'm going back to absolute, boom. All right, so I'm gonna make two more passes. I'm simply gonna come up here. I'm gonna hit F2. I'm gonna drop down, enter, hit it two times, enter, enter, and there you go, one, two, three, all right? Now let me say, 40 thousandths over is my finish, right? Because we calculated it, so that is my finished pass, all right? So I'm gonna leave this alone, but I'm actually gonna slow it down. So let's go feed 10 point alter. Now, this will be my, my first finish pass, so this will be the finish pass, this will be the spring pass. So we're gonna allow these both to stay exactly at 0 .040, 0 .040. One finish, one spring. All right, I'm gonna adjust my feed rate on here to 15, boom. Now, I'm gonna come back up here, I'm gonna make this my first roughing pass, so it can't be 40, I'm gonna back off it, all right? 
by four thousandths, which will allow me to have a four thousandths finish. So I'm simply going to come back up here, hit X.036, boom, I, negative 0.036, boom, and then X, negative 0.036, alter, and there you go. So it goes to location, it drops down, it roughs it, moves over 36 thousandths. My I and my X is also correct, correct. I'm always double checking. Comes around, comes back to center, drops down, moves into 40, comes around, drops down, does a spring pass at 40, lifts up, we're in absolute, and it ends the program. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how it actually runs two times. One will be with coolant, and then we'll already have the thread in there. So I'll turn the coolant off just so you can get a clean look at the movement as it comes around, draws back in, movement, comes around, draws back in, movement, boom. All right, let's go check this out. So we just finished using our go, no-go gauge. It's how we actually inspect threads and make sure that they're perfect. Our go side dropped right in, no problem. Our no-go side just went about a half a turn, all right? Which tells us that we have a great thread. If you wanna learn more about the Canamental Thread Mills, then go ahead and go to the Canamental website or go to Nobo and it'll actually give you the speeds and fees for all the different materials and stuff and just a wealth of knowledge in Novo, all right? So download it, check it out. The link's in the description below. Just as a reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you love these vlogs, and I will see you on the next one. Boom.